Riding a motorcycle in cold weather takes layer upon layer upon layer of clothing to stay warm. With all the layers shown here, I can ride a motorcycle in 40 degree, 5 degree Celsius weather and feel absolutely fine, except for my hands. In this video, I will remedy that by installing Yamaha grip heaters on my Tenere 700. It's cold here in the deep south, so it's time to install the heated grips on my Tenere 700. So these are the original Yamaha grips, and this is the installation video of them, and to see how they perform. Here in the US, you have to buy two separate kits in order to install the Yamaha heated grips on the Tenere 700. The main kit consists of the heated grips, wiring loom and cable zip ties. And then you have to buy a secondary kit that are grip extensions. The first part is to move, remove the Allen bolt at the end of the handle and that's for the 5mm. Allen wrench. And then we use a T30 Torx to remove the handle. And then it'll break those captive nuts so they stay in place. You need a 12 millimeter Allen socket in order to remove the bar end weight. And it's the same procedure on both sides, so I'm just showing the right hand side. So this is the bar and weight. The next step is to remove the grip and it's glued onto a little plastic barrel that makes it, we can adjust the gas by the throttle. So take a flat flatbed screwdriver, so you have to loosen the grip from the, the little plastic sleeve. So you literally just have to work the screwdriver in between that plastic barrel and the grip and all the way around. And of course I've cheated, so <laughs> I worked all the way around. So now you can just slide it off. And that's it. In order to avoid the grip to slide on the plastic barrel, it needs to be glued back on. The inside of the handle is ribbed, so not all of it will have. So just make sure the wire points down more at a 45 degree angle. The next step is to put the weight back on. And it needs to be tightened to 19 foot-pound with the ever-present torque wrench. 
Always remember to lock the little lock nut. And always stop at the first click. The next step on the right hand side is to reinstall the hand guard or the brush guard. These two little bolts they require a thread locker or And these are T30 Torx. And they're supposed to be tightened to 5.2, whoever came up with that number. <laughs> the end bolt here is supposed to be tightened to 13 foot pound. So these two bolts are supposed to be tightened to 5.2 foot pounds, which is 62 inch pounds. So I have these li this little torque wrench for this setting. So be careful with the smaller bolts on the bike. So then I just have to wait for overnight for the glue to set. I'm skipping over the part where I'm correct, connecting the cables to the battery. In order to do so you, and to avoid chafing of the cables, you need to remove three panels per side, two brackets and lift up the, the tank and the battery needs to be removed. It takes, probably takes you about two hours to do so versus five minutes to connect it just to the auxiliary port up front. When I bought the kit, I gave the dealer the correct part number, pictures of the part, and they were still not able to get it here in the States because they said it was not available here. If you live here in the States and you want the correct Tenere 700 heated grips, just order it straight from Europe. So that, that's a lot easier and it's probably easier no matter what part you want. You can set the strength of the heated grips on this set of heaters by holding down the green button for a minimum of 7 seconds. And then you get into program mode when it's blinking. So then now it's at the lowest setting, now it's the medium, and now it's at the highest. So I programmed for the lowest. You hold it for 7 seconds again. And then it's set to the lowest. So when you turn it on, it automatically goes to the highest of three. And then one for each time you press it, you go to two, one, zero. The downside with this set of heated grips is that they are a universal Yamaha set because the dealer here in the United States was not able to get me this Tenere 700 specific ones. And the Tenere 700 specific ones, they plug into the original wiring loom. So when you turn off the ignition, then you also turn off the heated grips. This set is connected straight to the battery. So you have to make sure that you turn it off. I'm gonna change that. I have some original uh, connectors. So I'm gonna plug it into the original outlet. I have bought both connectors from Cycle Terminal here in the States and uh, wiring loom extensions from Eastern Beaver in Japan in order to mount the uh, auxiliary lights, navigation and other items. And so I don't have to go back to the battery but I can use the original auxiliary connectors that's part of the wiring loom. Underneath the painted panels in front of the tank on the left hand side 
you have auxiliary connection for the heated grips and on the right hand side you have auxiliary connectors for another like cigarette light or USB port and for the fog lights. For some parts for the Tenray 700 probably because they don't sell as many motorcycles in United States versus Europe the delivery time for auxiliary parts are fairly long. So I've been waiting from like two to five months in order to get items and some items you can't even get like the correct heated grips. That might change over time the more Tenere 700s are being sold over here in the States. But you don't, <laughs> you don't need to look at that as a downside. It's part of customizing the bike and if there is a will there is always a way. Heated grips on a motorcycle, if you ride in colder weather, is absolutely worth it. Because it gives you more days to ride. And any day that you can go riding a motorcycle, it's a good day. Please subscribe. More videos to follow.